really the talk of the town after last week's big win against Trail Chris. Yeah, other than the you know the blowout offensively and of course the goose egg, the fight was definitely a popular attraction. Ben McDonald with a shot and a tip and a goal and a well played play from West Kelowna. And that was Chris Duclair getting the last touch to lift that one over Nathan Airy and not much Airy could do about that one. Uh, hot fire play, rapid fire if you will. And a nice finish by Chris Duclair, his first goal of the season. And a 1-0 lead for the West Kelowna Warriors. Yeah, and you said it, a tough one there for Nathan Arias. It's a good hard low shot, and then Duclair gets the stick on it to tip it up and over the glove. McDonald on the left half board. Tried to get that back up top, and that was taken away and started the other way. It's Belanche that drops a pass for Quinn Wright's circle. He scores! Noah Quinn with a sharp angled shot from the right side that finds an opening through J Justin Katz on the blocker's side. Quinn gets the marker, it's his second goal of the season and Cranbrook's tied the game, it's 1-1. The puck just eluded Katz on the block. To the right side, Reeves out through center, bouncing puck that is taken by Nelson, could be an on-man rush, they hurry a penalty upcoming. Nelson in front, Salandra shot! That's stopped by Airy on a big sit. Head Luciak to the middle now, Nelson. Nelson across the blue line, right wing feed for Moriello. Moriello, midpoint, Norlin, back along Moriello right side, dropped it there for Luciak, walking down right circle, down below the goal line, it's Nelson centering into the slot, loose puck, shot on stop, rebound, scores! It's Felix Caron with two seconds to go on the power play, buries a rebound off the right pad of Airy, and the Warriors take their lead back, it's 2-1 West Kelowna. Right place at the right time for Felix Caron, who got that puck in the left face-off circle after Airy made a save in front on, I believe, a shot by Moriello, and Caron buries it. Caron did get the marker, and the RPI commit has a second of the season. Peluso back into the offensive zone, left circle shot, they score! And just like that, we're tied again. Donovan Frias with a shot from the left circle with traffic coming to the front of the net on Katz. Able to beat the Warrior Netminder on the glove side, and it's 2-2. Off the glove of Airy, might have even glanced the crossbar as well. That puck stays out all the way down inside the Warrior zone. This puck will go now, foe. For Silich, back up to the right point, held on side by Bryce Sucro. Down low, centering pass. Oh, what a save by Katz. He kicked out the left pad for a miraculous stop on Luke Foe at the front of the net. What a stop that was by Katz to keep the game 2 2. Down below the goal line, now coming out in front with that, centering a pass. Hayes, a shot. He scores! Nolan Hayes! From the edge of the right face-off circle, finding room over the blocker side of Nathan Airy. And with 13, 16 to go in the third, the Warriors lead it three to two. Shot from the right side by Hayes. The stick of Aiden Reeves. 10 seconds to go in this power play for Cranbrook. Foe ahead through center. Left wing feed now, stopping up there is Silich. Left point, Morrissey a shot, redirected, they score! <laughs> With just two seconds left on the power play, Bauer Morrissey shot, redirected in by Donovan Frias who has his second goal of the game, and it's 3-3 with 8-17 to go in the third. Now with that is Bentham, ahead for Yarderson. Right side moving in with that is Quinn, a long shot up and over the goal, wrapped around left wing side, Peluso throws it wide, and after 60 minutes of play, we're all tied up, 3-3 is our score here from Cranbrook. Frias laid it back, up with that now is Reese Bentham. A drop pass, finds Frias down the left side. 
Frias to the corner, back behind the goal, comes out in the right circle. Frias now with an opening in the slot, a shot stopped by Katz, the rebound loose, they score! Nick Peluso, the overtime winner, as he got to the rebound on the blocker side of Katz and pushes it past the Warrior goaltender in a scramble at the front of the net. And Cranbrook gets the extra point and they win the game in overtime 